Hello and, and welcome. welcome to another edition of Hebrew Eye Howcast. It is the first episode of season two of Hebrew Eye Howcast. And today's topic is Teshuva. Teshuva means repentance. Skrr! That's what a lot of people think, but it actually doesn't. The real definition of Teshuva is Teshuva is not only repentance, but the act of forgive. <laughs> but the act of remembering your mistakes and correcting them. Let's look at some examples of Teshuva right now. What she said. Let's go to someone who you probably think you know, has a familiar name, but you definitely don't know who we're talking about. Your impotence disgusts me. I mean, an incredible, incredible, incredible man. But like, I'm so much better. Like when I am the president of the United States and you are just my mere little peasants, I mean, it's just, uh, you have made no difference to society. It's just pointless. Pause. So what happened there was, our person named Mr. Drump walked around and insulted people, but then made up for it by complimenting them after and saying sorry. That's kind of what she did. That was the gist of it. But that's not right. That's not what, that's not what this theme is. <laughs> now, let's go to our big board. <laughs> We're running short on iMovie today, so we're doing it in one take. We're here at the big board, and we're going to go to our example two with a doorman. So, let's say a doorman might not, might not have the biggest job in the world, but to them, it's pretty important. So this is what you should do if you see a doorman. You're stupid at your job. That's what you're not supposed to do if you see a doorman. Come closer. Let's come a little bit closer. See up close and personal what you're not supposed to do with the doorman. So let's go. Skrrr! And, see, we would have had a sound effect for that, but it's okay. Let's see what you're supposed to do when you are doing it. Thank you very much, kind sir. You're welcome. Did you see what they did? Let's bring it back. When they walked in, let's play in slow motion now, shall we? <laughs> Slow motion. Okay, he walks in, right? The man makes eye contact with the doorman and reaches for a handshake, although ultimately does not get one. Oh, he does get one, so we're playing it in slow motion. And thanks him. So that's all about what Tishuva is. And Sophia will now add some words, even though I don't know if she has any. Okay. Because we're doing this on the spot. So, with our first example of teshuva, what was wrong was that instead of going back and correcting their mistakes, um, Mr. Dump just decided to keep apologizing for their mistakes even though they did them again. Like we could say she, um, she insulted them, but then she complimented them and she insulted them. And that's not how teshuva <laughs> works. However, in the second example, um, the person answering the package did correct their mistakes the second time and said, thank you, kind sir, instead of saying, your job is stupid. All right, thank so you. So basically, <laughs> just people who are smaller than you or have less important jobs than you, just be nice to them, thank them, and you will be good, and they will be good, especially in this high holy day period. Okay, thank you for joining us on our first episode of our second season of Huber High Howcast. It's been real. Yes. See you later. Join us Tuesday. Tuesdays at this time, even though we're not live. Yeah, Tuesdays for more <laughs> tips and tricks on how to live a better Jewish life. Our cameraman is very close. Have a great day.